With less than 24 hours until the space shuttle is scheduled for its final launch, the Kennedy Space Center is roaring. And so is the weather. Thunderstorms and lightning are threatening to postpone the historic launch as astronauts and hundreds of media from around the world ran through the elements at the Space Center, remembering the three decades of shuttle launches and trying to get a grasp on the new future of space exploration in America. The dream is very, very much alive. We're looking forward to the next generation of space travel, leaving Earth orbit for destinations far beyond. It kind of <clears throat> it feels like when I retired as a launch director some years ago, they were a proud feeling for what had been accomplished in the past, you know, did some really good things. But on the other hand, kind of sad, because this is the end. It's the last one. And, uh, <clears throat> and the future is, is kind of murky. Indeed, but some legends of NASA, like Jack King, known as the voice of the Apollo missions, are questioning the past three decades. By 2025 or 2030, maybe we'll land on an asteroid. Wow, that doesn't excite me too much. So I regret all we've lost in the last 30 years by not developing more powerful propulsion systems to take us further out into space. NASA is closing on its 30-year space shuttle program to take aim at asteroids and Mars, destinations favored by the White House. Private companies, they'll take over the job of hauling cargo and crews to the International Space Station, freeing NASA up to focus on points beyond. We've got the space station right now. It is a working laboratory. It's not really set up for tourists to come by and, and stay very long, so uh, we need somebody to go out there and build your space hotel to give people a place to go to, and I think when that happens, then it will really take off. Rain or shine, hundreds of thousands of people are expected to line the area for the launch. Some estimates put the crowd at close to one million. I think everybody always wants to have great weather for launch, so I don't know if you call it spirits down, but just, you know, kind of like, okay, what are we going to do now? The 12-day, four-person voyage by Atlantis will likely end with a touchdown back at Kennedy Space Center in Florida on July 20th. Ironically, that's the 42nd anniversary of man's first steps on the moon. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Cape Canaveral, Florida.